Hey guys, it is Sophia, the Shadow Hunter, and today I'm doing my February wrap up. I apologize, I know this is already, we're already into day 10 of this month. This is March 2020. Um, time change was on Saturday night. You gotta love that. I've been meaning to do a life update video, which I will do for you guys soon, and this will explain why I haven't been posting as much, but also I really just decided to cut down on filming every day because, as you guys know, for about the past two years, I've been filming almost every day quite diligently, and it's been so much fun, and I enjoy talking to you guys, and I'm so grateful for everyone who watches my videos and comments. Um, I want to try doing a couple different types of videos um, besides just what I normally do to enhance what the variety of what I'm doing. So let's get started. I read a total. I read a total of seven books in the book in the month of February, which is awesome because it is a short month, and as you guys know, I'm trying to ramp up my reading speed. And also due to my life changes, my reading is going to be a little bit different. I'm still going to try to read as much as I possibly can within my time frame and the limits of doing so. So let's get started. And please let me know in the comments down below the books you guys read in February and the books you read in March and what you plan to read for the next the rest of the year. So let's get started. So one, the second last book I read was Dune, The Butler and Jihad by Kevin Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. I love, love, love this book. I had a hard time putting it down. Yes, it was huge. It was almost 600 pages, and I enjoyed every minute of it. It was very interesting. I loved the character development, the different types of government, people's thoughts and their feelings, and being ruled by a machine, governing by machines, and people not having the right to think and believe and to feel because they're being told what to feel, and things like that, and the different types of government, and how y'all want to make our own, you know, in dystopian, which this isn't dystopian, but it really, it kind of is. Whenever in their book there is a form of government that prohibits people from doing what they want to do, or they're being controlled by a government, or maybe not even be controlled at all, it is kind of futuristic. Um, and it's very interesting, I love seeing that, and that's one thing why I do like science fiction. And I gotta say, I think I might become a science fiction fan, thanks to Kevin to Kevin J. Anderson and Brian Herbert. So if you guys have read this book, please let me know. I really wanted to read the next book in the series. This is the prequel to the Dune series. This is the prequel to the Dune series, and I really want to get my hands on the first Dune book to read because I think it'll be awesome. Next, I read Zigzag by Nicholas Booth, the incredible wartime exploits of double agent Eddie Chapman. Sorry, guys, my camera's not focusing. So next I read Zigzag, Nicholas Booth, The Incredible Wartime Exploits of a Double Agent, Eddie Chapman. This book was very interesting. It was World War II. It was history. It was, like, journal entries. And it was, like, 007, which is awesome. I love stuff like this. And this was such an incredible um, story. And I loved it. I want to know more about like spies and I love to read more real stuff about like double sevens because I love James Bond and it's very you know comical and silly but also fast so I like to know what it was real life to be like a real double seven back in the time in Britain to be MI6 so Nicholas his agent zigzag he was an MI6 agent but he was also a double agent and he had the opportunity of he might have helped stop the war earlier or he might have prevented it. So this is very interesting and a great book. And the first book I read, which I actually read this one, it was, I read it, I can't I think, it was between the end of January and the beginning of February, so I think I counted it for both of them. That was Frederick Bachman, Things My Son Needs to Know About the World. I absolutely love, love, love this book. I gave this a five out of five stars on Goodreads. This is a story. It is fictional. I thought maybe it was true. And he does, he puts his name in there. And I guess some, it's talking about his, excuse me, his son is recently, it's about to be born. And it goes back and forth saying, he, he basically writes some letters saying, um, you know, I know you're going to hate me this 
hate me for doing this and for not doing this, but I'm telling you why you did them, and I did it because I love you. And it was just such an incredible story. I love Frederick Bachman. I know I like cannot stop talking about him. You guys need to read his book and definitely read this book. All right, next I read Imaginary Friend by Stephen Chbosky, the number one best thing author, The Perks of Being a Wallflower. I also really enjoyed this book. It took me a while to read it. This was the first or second, second book I read in February. It took me a little longer than I wanted to. I still really enjoyed it. It, it left me kind of confused, but I enjoyed every minute of it. It was, it was great character building, great story. It was dark and scary, and I loved every bit of it. All right. Next, I read Brit Marie Was Here by Frederick Bachman. This book goes along with my grandmother asking me to tell you she's sorry because Brit Marie was one of her friends. And this is also by Frederick Bachman, and I just love, love, love this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. If you like stories about older people and about how younger people, you know, older people, they teach us a lot, but younger people can also teach them. And this, I think, is the story of an, old one, an older woman who learns so much and learns to be more gracious and kind to people because of these people she's around. All right, next I read My, Mary Bottle and the Mistress of Kings by Allison Weir. I also really enjoyed this book. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Next I read Lilac Girls by Martha Hall Kelly. I read this book about five years ago, and I couldn't remember what happened, so I wanted to read it, and now I'm dying to get my hands on the second book, Colossus Roses. Hopefully, I'll get it this week. And this is about three women who were were alive during World War II in Nazi Germany and how their lives intertwined. Um, maybe their families were survivors. Maybe some of them were actually doctors or nurses in the concentration camps during the war, and other people were actually inmates in there. So it's a very interesting story, and I love, love, love this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Our the last book I have read is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling. As you guys know, I'm even rereading this series. This will be my third time reading it completely through, and I loved it. I just can't, I just can't say how happy and impressed I am with how much I still love Harry Potter. I came reading to it at a young age. I didn't start reading it till I was about 15, and I wasn't able to finish reading it. Um, I was younger and I got back to them and I reread them and I'm reading them again and it's just as powerful and there's so much things you can miss when you read a book because I've been an avid a huge reader since the age about 13 and I used to read so much more faster and memorize things so much more easier and now as I'm getting older it is a real joy to go back and reread books so those are all the books I read in the book month in the month of February 2020. Please let me know in the comments down below the books you guys have been reading. Hope you guys are having a good reading year and I'll see you guys next time in our video. Goodbye.